Hi everyone, this is Brett Endes, the dog savant, dogtrainingla.com. So I'm going to talk about how a dog's existence or how they are existing in the everyday life and environments we share is directly related to how they listen or respond or behave at times where we see a need to have them be trained. Uh, what do I mean by that? What I've learned in many, many years doing this is that a lot of behaviors that I've discovered are not something we want to encourage. Most dog owners see as a positive and react to it in a way that actually does encourage these behaviors. Uh, what's an example? The most common one is dogs are excited to see us. Well, who wouldn't reciprocate if someone was that thrilled to react to us? And yes, dogs are supposed to be happy when they see someone, uh, even more excited when they see a familiar face for their owner, but there's a point where the the happiness ends and overstimulation starts to begin. You know, a lot of these dogs I see, pretty much all of them, have this real issue of tracking life way too strongly. While we're living our life following patterns and routines, these dogs in their mind are at times feeling that they're keeping such good track of us that why wouldn't they have to over anticipate where you're headed on a walk or worry about how to react when you encounter a dog or in a new situation with, with, with a lot of things going on. You know, and again, we're just we're paying the bills, but to a dog, you know, if they feel like okay you're gonna do this this and that and then that happens and then you do it because that's just the unconscious routines we follow well your dog is really thinking that their thoughts are making your actions happen and creating this whole life for them that they have to feel responsible for now that is going to induce a huge level of anxiety uh, even in a human especially when it becomes this huge life or death matter where dogs are overreacting in an aggressive highly anxious way because they feel that their life is at stake from this pending undertone of responsibility that they just deep down can't handle. So how do you address this, okay? We talked about the problem, let's address the solution. It is creating a structured, in the moment, awareness in the everyday presence that you create around your dog. So instead of your dog flowing through life freely and you know jumping on the next shoe of life falling, you're creating more of this go with the flow type of feel. You're creating this in the moment thinking. You're saying do this to get from A to B and then we're at point B, wait till I tell you how to get to point C. Not just ignoring the behaviors, but engaging your dog to redirect their mind into a calm state and giving them a sense of utility in our presence versus a sense of high alert and over anticipation. A job that's completed the task, that is the key. And if you can create that to replace some of these bad habits, or if you see you have a young dog that might have the potential to be too caught up in the everyday transitions and ebbs and flows of life, well, why don't you be on it? Because that's gonna carry over to things that are really a priority for you. Like, I don't want my dog to be lunging on the leash, or I want my dog to come when I call him at the dog park. But if they're running the show in their minds, and not in this personal, conscious way, just this unconscious feeling that's being created from the cause-effect relationship you're having with them, um, well, why would I want to listen to you when there's, you know, big, bigger things going on than what your commands have to say? Versus your commands guide me through everyday life and I have to rely on them to get every resource or every next event to occur, at least when you're establishing the right foundation. Sure, that's going to be complimentary when you want them to listen when the chips are down. So that's the key. I hope I explained that well because that's the essence of what I find is really missing where people are training their dogs when they want it to be convenient for them, but they're not seeing the relationship and the life as a whole that has to have some major adjustments made. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Love your dog. Have a good day. Bye.